Okay, today is January 5th, 2022. Uh, this is our first run using the Mars Hydro T8000. Uh, so what we got going on here is we got some local genetics. Uh, these are uh, Mossem seeds uh, from here in Arizona. We are currently, let me get focused in here. Uh, we are currently running some big guns and banana clip and doing some blueberry mixed with big devil all of these are auto flowers there's the packaging from Mossum. nothing pretty plain on this guy so what we've done is we started these seeds uh, on the 28th of last month uh, soaked them individually and shot glasses of tap water with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide um, to give some oxygen to that tap root once it actually does break through while it is in the water. Um, at that point, once it is a uh, tap root established, usually about one day, uh, I'll go ahead and put it into some peat moss. Uh, these I just bought at my local Home Depot. Um, as far as media i put it into uh, i do a mixture in, when the seedling stage of uh, i do run fox farm uh, happy frog with a mixture with actually some of the uh, miracle grow uh, seed starter uh, i know i'll catch some flack for that however uh, what i like about the seed starter is it actually helps provide a lot of loose friction to knock the seed off of the plant as it is coming up. That's just a personal opinion. It's something I've noticed over quite a few grows that I've done. Um, obviously, if, if you guys come up with anything else, let me know. So after the seeds are in there, um, I usually will let those go uh, on a few days, three, four days maybe, once they're starting their second uh, actual pointy set of leaves. Um, I will then go ahead and transfer them because uh, again we're running autos uh, so I go ahead and put them into their final pot. Um, so what I'll do uh, at that point is I will do a mixture, oh I apologize, uh, once I have them in there I do run them in the dome. Uh, this is a dome I got from my current grow store uh, uh, here in Arizona. Um, I do have the AC Infinity heat mat. Uh, again, living in Arizona, this is currently, as I said, July. It is hot, hot, hot. Uh, did not need the seed mat. Had a 100% success on popping seeds. Uh, therefore, did not need it this run. Um, in the wintertime, I will use it uh, just to keep them at a nice warm temperature. Uh, however, this time, not needed. 100% popping. Anyway, back to it. So... Uh, in the final pot, since these are autos, uh, I do actually run a combination of uh, Fox Farm Ocean Forest, um, and I will mix in some Strawberry Field uh, in the bottom part of the bucket. I do just use Home Depot uh, five-gallon buckets, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll put a mm, quarter to a third of the Strawberry Fields in the bottom of the Home Depot bucket. Uh, and top that all the rest of that off with just ocean forest. Uh, I do mix in some perlite because uh, obviously we all know it needs to be nice and loose. Uh, so once I make the holes, I do put in some mycos. Um, this is nothing too fancy. I just literally bought this stuff. Uh, also at my local, uh, I believe I got this at Ace Hardware. Um, you know, trying to, uh, but before. Uh, everything in Arizona became legal. We didn't have very many options on grocery stores. So you get used to using things that aren't necessarily made for uh, uh, medicinal plant growth. However, I know there are much better things out there. This is tried and true and I, uh, old habits die hard. I have a hard time giving it up. So like, as I said, uh, these were the Moss M Genetics were packs of three and this Blueberry Big Devil was a four pack. 
uh, like I said, all all local. Uh, uh, forgive me, I don't know where these places are in Arizona, uh, but all from Arizona. So I put them all in a 10-pack, had them in the dome, you know, kept them in the dome for a few days, slowly decreased the humidity. Um, and then as we uh, back out here, uh, I will show you this is the current status of where we were at. Uh, all 10 of these guys, as I said, running the Mars Hydro T8000. Uh, currently have it at about 60% power. Uh, I do have the driver mounted off the wall. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier on the heat. Uh, kind of just keeps it away from everything. Uh, and as we see, things are going quite well uh, as far as sprouting. Everything has sprouted. They're all starting to come in real nice. Please forgive me. I'm not a cameraman. Never have claimed to be. Uh, I literally stole my wife's camera to document this grow. Uh, hopefully you guys appreciate. I know this is literally just for me. Documenting everything I've been doing with this. Uh, just trying to perfect my grow. You know, we're always learning. Doesn't matter how many years you've been doing this. I know many people have been doing this for a long, long long time uh currently myself um i'm about year three this is my first grow with the new equipment um we'll say five maybe six uh don't, nobody really counts their first grow uh, i can only speak for myself but my first grow was trash could not use any of it so uh like i said so today's the 5th of july and literally put them all in their uh final final stage buckets and I will keep everyone updated.